Welcome back. Problem 4-33. The steel pipe is filled with concrete and subjected to a compressive force of 80 kN. Determine the average normal stress in the concrete and steel due to loading. The pipe has outer diameter of 80 mm and inner diameter of 70 mm. E of steel is 200 GPa while E of concrete is 24 GPa. So you can see this is a pipe and that is filled with the concrete and acted upon by a compressive load of 80 kN. The height of this pipe is 500 mm. The outer diameter is given as 80 mm and inner diameter is 70 mm. All the given data is mentioned over here. So you have to find the stress in concrete and stress in the steel. So let's start with the solution. Now you can see that this load that is acted upon by this pipe uh, having concrete. So some of this load will be taken by the concrete while some of the load will be taken by this pipe. So if I draw the cross-sectional view of this pipe, clear. So this is 80 kN load some of its load will be taken by this P of concrete and some of its load will be taken by this steel pipe PS. So by using equilibrium, you can write some of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and upward force is taken as positive. So minus 80 plus PC plus PS is equal to zero. So PC plus PS is equal to 80 while PC is load taken by the concrete and PS load is taken by this steel pipe. Or we can say that this 80 load will be taken by P, some of its load will be taken by PC while some of load is taken by steel pipe. So we will also get the same. Now you can see that this loading is acted upon this so uh, to, so de deflection or deformation in steel will be equal to deformation in concrete. And we know that deformation is equal to PL divided by A into E. So for steel it will be equal to PS into length is same so I will write L divided by A of S into E of S is equal to P of concrete into length divided by area of concrete into E of concrete. So P of S L L will cancel on both sides. So P of S area of this solid pipe. So it is equal to pi by 4 D outer which is 0 0.08 square minus d inner which is 0 0.07 square into e of steel which is 200 gigapascal so 200 into 10 to the power 9 is equal to pc divide area of concrete which is this having diameter inner diameter which is 0 0.07 so area of inner diameter of con uh, area of concrete will be equal to 0 pi by 4 into 0 0.07 square into e which is 24 gigapascal so 24 into 10 is to power 9 so when you solve this you will get p of steel is equal to pc into pi by 4 0 0.08 square minus 0 0.07 square into 200 into 10 to the power 9 divided by pi by 4 into 0 0.07 square into 24 into 10 to the power 9 it will cancel with this and if you further simplify it you will get p of steel will be equal to 2.5510 p of concrete or pc So let this is your let this is your equation number one and this become your equation number two. So put 
equation 2 in equation 1 so pc plus 2.5510 pc is equal to 80 so it means 3.5510 pc is equal to 80 kilo newton so we will get p of concrete will be equal to 22.53 kilo newton now you have this pc so put value of pc in equation 2 so we will get ps is equal to 2.5510 into 22.53 unit will be in kilo newton so it will be equal to p of steel will be equal to 57.47 kilo newton now you have both ps and pc so you can just find average stress in concrete is equal to pc divided by area of concrete so 22.53 into 10 is to power 3 divided by area of concrete is pi by 4 into 0 0.07 square so again if you further simplify it you will get the answer and will be 5.85 mega pascal now for steel pipe stress in steel pipe is equal to ps divided by as so ps is 57.47 into 10 to power 3 divided by area of steel which is pi by 4 into outer diameter square minus inner diameter square so when you solve this you will get average stress in steel pipe comes out to be 48.8 mega pascal so this is the answer of our first part and this is the answer of our second part and that was all about this problem 4-33 i hope you have enjoyed this video those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and press the bell icon to get the information about latest video if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching